So we're doing mental remedial now for this one. Okay, you can see this this FX is from V-ray. Okay, it's from V-ray IE light. Instead of this, we will try a similar light, but not exactly same. Now we're doing material first. To do the material, we are changing the settings to mental ray. So first you have to go to F10 on the keyboard, then change scan line to V-ray mental, sorry, NVIDIA mental ray. And to check, I wanna fix this custom to HD video, 1280 into 720. And go to material. This is the material on the white, right? So this one, I'm just directly selecting standard arc and design material. And the ender thing is same color only, but uh, I think I did something else. Yeah, arc and design, arc and design. Then this one, I'm gonna do white color, but this is already having, having a reflectivity, so it's fine. So I already assigned, so I don't need to assign this one again, okay? Next one, the blue color one, I already assigned it, standard. Again, arc and design material, then go to, um, color from here, choose the color. Again, the reflection, it is reflective a little bit. It's fine, nothing else to do on that. This one, I didn't give material, so you can give material on it. These all boxes, we assign it. And uh, hope these logos and all the blue color one, we already assigned that one. There's nothing else to do with that. And uh, for this, uh, for this, we do a new material. Assign standard arc and design material. We will try this arc and design material. We have chrome material. Chrome is steel, steel, steel color. And this bulb inside, we can do uh, material, new material from here. Assign, assign. This one, even you can do normal material also. But actually we do glass and all, but the light won't be visible. So if you want to do for time being glass solid geometry. Okay, when we switch on the light, you can give color, glow and all. It's, it's fine now. So now let me check the render, how it will look. So I'm gonna keep my camera using the zoom button. I'm gonna fix this proper. And then let me render using F9. You can see the reflections comes proper. This proper and the ground we have not done, but you see the chrome and all perfect result we got. Look good, of course, this is not good, this grass. So we have to use some other, okay. Now for the ground, everything I'm gonna select it using a material, assign, standard, arc and design, and keep, see this is completely white, right? Uh, so I can do one thing. First, I assign this material everywhere, then convert this one to editable poly, then select here only. So you know what is the difference I have done? I want to here, I want to give a different. So everything I give white only, and only this ground I can choose a new material, this one. This is our can design material already. And I use for time being a rough concrete or something of concrete, non, non reflective, I guess. You can take any similar kind of material and apply. I think a rough concrete doesn't have some map was missing. We will check polish to concrete, vanish to board. Polish to concrete, I think it's also, yeah, it's fine. So for time being, it's fine. Now let me render. Cool. To do much detail lighting, we have a different way, okay? So for time being, I'm just showing you a photometric light. So when you do this photometric light, we need to do lighting everywhere, okay? So just an idea only I'm gonna give you. The full light, if you want to do, you need to uh, do a light, free light. See, in a photometric free light, I use it. And I'm gonna, create here this is the light okay one more time free light from 
perspective, I'm going to keep it here and go to the front view. Perspective. Now you see when you do this light, only one light over there, when you render, you can see only one light will be emitting there because now, see, before there was light everywhere. Now that light is important there, right? So, so, so the light will reflect everywhere. So if you wanna adjust the light, you will go to properties and you can see in the light property, in density, you can adjust it. If you want this one, I'm gonna be 100 only. That's not in this lighting. So I'm telling you again, the picture, what you see, the result is different that is in V-Ray. Okay, just we are getting one light here. How this light have to reflect on the subjects because this is completely glossy. Okay, if you go here, there are many other kind of lights are here, halogen light. You see now it's blue, uh, orange color, the Kelvin will be different. This kind of light is gonna come. Right. So of course, we don't need that. So here, you can check this incandescence. This one and to twenty F nine. If you do, if you have a V-ray light, you know it will affect only the nowhere else. This Kelvin color. See, you can see I chose this color. Okay, incandescence. This Kelvin color is there. You can do this Kelvin color to normal. And again, this, uh, uh, I want to do this one too. Very less, very less lighting here only. Because we don't have any IES light now. So we have only this light for time. It's reflecting because of the reflections. So reflections we can remove from this back. Okay. Now this one is one enough. We will check. Actually, what you see the bokeh effects is called photons. At least we're getting a light effects over there. Now, similar kind of light, you want to put 0.2. Okay, enough. Now, this one I'm going to set to here. Here. Okay, now to get the lights everywhere, we use for time being standard. We don't know any other light. That's why I use now a standard omni light. In density, you want to pick 0.5 or something. At least it will be visible everywhere. So this one, no need 0.5. See the light comes like that. So I'm going to do two light, two. We will check. Why I press escape? Because I can see almost how the result is going to come, right? That's why I'm pressing FC. I can understand. So one light is there. Then I want to do a light on the front. See, this lighting technique is wrong, what we are doing, because we are using normal lighting. So we have different kind of lighting is there. One light here. See what we know existing Mendel ray light and this one we are, and the default light we are using. Scan line, uh, default uh, standard lights only. Now it's everywhere visible proper. But this one like one by one area, you need to start to do separate, separate, separate. This way you need to get the result. Now adjust the light. See, you feel here is dark, so increase the volume. Here it is more brighter, decrease this. That way, for example, here we have to feel like more lights are there. So this one, you can keep it only one. This one, you feel, it, you feel in the front, it is less. So you make it to three. Here, you feel like it's less, so you can keep to three. F9. 
So the light in the outside, the brightness will be high and inside it is this now. Fine, not bad, we see here it is burning. So I think two is sufficient, two, two is sufficient. So different type of lighting, but here we don't need much light. You see the pictures are simple. So why this perfection comes in the dark? Because of the Vira light. Vira light have this shadow and all very perfect result, you're gonna get it. So here we are using photometric light and that's the reason we are getting this light. Even without light also is getting good result. Just for this one, if you want, in, in Photoshop, you can set that, that glare, okay? But just to understand the lighting ideas also, I've explained this way you can do the lighting. Quality is good in the mental ray, the quality of the image will be good. So this is the way you're gonna give a light and material to these objects. Hope it is clear.